SMT Nation, we back. Nation, big news out of Dish and T-Mobile. It looks like we're finally going to see a deal between the two for the 800 megahertz spectrum. I'm going to tell you guys why this is important for both companies and why we can all just kind of move on from this and to the benefit, I think, of both Dish and T-Mobile. All right, so I'll be linking the article for you here from Roger Chang of Cord Cutter News. I'll provide it. It'll be in the description box. Also in the description is the real SMT Buy Me Coffee link. Keep the SMT caffeinated and motivated. You can buy us a coffee to support us. There's other ways to support us as well. They're all down there in the description, including our partner link for the Green Fox. You guys know Mint Mobile. They can save you money on your wireless plans. Deflation promo pricing still active. Using our link, mintmobile.com forward slash need. You can save lots of dough. Use that money for something else. All right, you can... Uh, you can buy a microphone, you could buy some pens, uh, or you can buy a, an audio interface. Do something else with the money. Uh, switching is super easy. They'll ship you a SIM card out really quickly. Or uh, you can do an eSIM, and that's great and very uh, very simple and convenient. All right, so check them out. All right, so Dish plans on buying the 800 megahertz spectrum from T-Mobile. That was involved in the T-Mobile and Sprint merger a number of years ago. Dish hasn't really had the capital to be able to pay for this. It's it's kind of pricey. Uh, we'll get to these details here in the video. So the 800 megahertz spectrum is actually from Sprint. And T-Mobile is mandated to sell it to Dish if Dish can afford it. And if Dish can't afford it or doesn't want to buy it, they owe T-Mobile $72 million. Uh, the spectrum is probably worth a few billion dollars. You know, spectrum is a very valuable commodity in the industry, you know, and licenses for wireless networks. So we know that discussions have been ongoing. We got disclosures from T-Mobile a few weeks ago. Uh, Dish also said that negotiations were ongoing. According to the president of the company, Charlie Ergen, he says that conversations and negotiations are ongoing at the highest level. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, but officially, Dish and T-Mobile jointly filed applications seeking authority from the FCC to transfer the licenses from T-Mobile, a.k.a. Sprint, to Dish. Now, the importance of the spectrum is very clear. Low band spectrum, lower frequency frequencies, uh, <laughs> frequency licenses are valuable because of the range that they have, the propagation characteristics. Something that Dish sorely needs is capacity and coverage, right? So when I look at the companies and where they are with respect to the maturity of their networks, T-Mobile has 600 megahertz. You know, Verizon's got band 13, the 700 megahertz. They've got band 5 in a lot of places, too, with the 850. AT&T's got, like, four different bands that are in the low band. You know, so Dish is probably in a position where the low band is crucial to their network coverage, having to meet the POPs-covered requirements with the FCC. Meanwhile, the other carriers, they're mostly, like, mid-band networks, with the exception of rural and kind of being out there on the interstate. You know, the, the mid-band frequencies seem to have the most value to them, right? Where most of their customers reside. So I think, you know, this makes sense for Dish to, to come up with this. Now, this comes on the heels of Dish merging with Echo Star. And that's probably where they're going to get the cash to pay for this. You know, Dish has no has horrible credit. Uh, Dish has no fluidity to the company, no free cash flows. They've, they've been hemorrhaging pay TV customers. Boost has been losing customers. They don't really have the cash, but with Echo Star, I think that's where they're going to be able to kind of leverage the company and get that cash or get the loans that are required to pay three and a half billion dollars for the spectrum, which is, a, I think, like a 13.5 megahertz chunk. I'm not sure about the guard band or any of that, uh, but that kind of puts all of this into perspective. So good for Dish. It enhances their ability to build out a more comprehensive and far reaching network. It fits the bill for what they're trying to do. And, you know, with an SA network, maybe they can combine all their low bands that they have with 600 megahertz, now the 800, as well as in some places having 700 megahertz. All right, so we'll see how this plays out. We'll see when the transaction is complete and we know the am exact amount and uh, how Dish plans on deploying and updating their radios to kind of start broadcasting this. And I'll be looking for it in my market and let you guys know how it goes, when it goes. All right. What do you guys think? Hashtag Dish, hashtag T-Mobile, hashtag 5G for all the real ones out there. And tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Do all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.